everyone welcome back to my channel today we are going over part four of the build a battle station app in trailhead uh, we'll be adding our business logic in this step so looks like we'll be creating a validation rule and using a process builder so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into our trailhead account so i am currently in the battle station construction app but what we want to do is we want to be in setup so let's click the gear icon go to setup all right and from here we're going to go to the object manager and we're going to go to the resource so i'm going to type in the quick find resource or at least the first few letters. All right, from here, we're gonna go down on this little page, go to validation rules. One thing is that it looks like it's mostly in alphabetical order. Let's go to new. All right, and rule name, be really careful typing this in. Inspectors underscore must underscore work underscore overtime all right so description doesn't look like we need to add one however we are given a formula so to make sure it's correct i'm going to go back to our page and copy this and paste it make sure you got the syntax right no errors found, so we are good to go. For error message, we want it to read exhaust port inspectors must work at least 150%. No coffee breaks. And it looks like we want it to be on the field at utilization. All right, so it looks like anytime utilization is not at 50, 150%, then it'll throw out an error. So let's go ahead and save. All right, there we go. So next we're going to go to doing a process builder. So this is one of the really awesome um, tools that can help you automate different processes and make your job a little easier and make the salespeople's jobs a little easier. But here, so we went back to home in the setup. Um, you can do that by either going here, setup, or we were in the object manager. So we just clicked home. We're gonna type process in the quick find. Looks like we need to add builder. All right, so we're gonna click new. And this process name is gonna be fully operational battle station. And the API will automatically populate. And this process starts when a record changes. So let's click save. We're gonna click add an object. Which object are we gonna use? We are going to use battle station. Whenever a record is created or edited, click save. And here's kind of a visual. It'll show you like, okay, you'll go here and it'll be a statement of true or false statements based upon the criteria if it's true then it'll go into immediate actions or any timed actions. And then if it's false, it'll go to the next criteria. So just keep that in mind if you are building a process builder anytime soon. All right, for criteria name, we're gonna have it now fully operational. So it's when conditions are met. All right, and we're 
to go from field to weapon status. Choose. So we're going to have it be equals fully operational. And click save. And for our action, we're going to update a record. So we just clicked actions, going to update records. For action name, it's update status. For the record type that we're going to do, it's going to be the record that started the process. And we're going to go project status. And changing the value to complete. And click save. Alright, we're going to do another action. This one's going to be a post to chatter. And let's see, for post, it's going to be on that record. All right, and we are given the text that we are going to do this with. So let's go ahead and copy it over. Click Save. And we are going to activate it. So what it does, once you change a pick list field from either not complete or whatever, empty, to now fully operational, it will update a record and it'll post chatter. So let's go ahead and test the process. Let's go to our battle station app and we're going to go to obliteration station, which is one of our stations. Project status. We're going to have it be complete. You can see chatters over here. It should update. Da, 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 da. Hmm. Maybe I need to refresh the page real quick. Oh, you know what? I did the wrong one. We needed it to be. Weapon status was fully operational. All right, then the project status would be complete. And there we go. We've got obliteration station. And I believe that's the last thing we need to do. So let's go ahead and verify this step. All right, there we go. That's part four out of five for Build a Battle Station app. Thank you for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. It really helps out my channel and helps me uh, create more helpful videos like this. So uh, stay tuned for part five.